Yo, what's good, YouTube? Kamikaze get fixed here with Dream Team Edit Ins a one day week three. And um, today I'm just going to be showing you the 3D stroke effect in Adobe After Effects. Um, for this, you will need the 3D stroke plugin from Track Code. Um, if you don't have Track Code, uh, go and torrent it. Or, no, not that I promote torrenting. <laughs> um, go and torrent it or go and buy it. So, yeah. So, what you want to do is just import your clip into a new composition. And I, I import my clips twice for this. Then on the top one, you grab your pen tool. Take the resolution up just so you can get the mask right. A mask around the locust symbol. And that's the mask I'm going to be doing today. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to rush this mask. You cannot just apply a 3D stroke to a layer. You have to use the pen tool and um, find the area that you want to mask. I mean, you want to apply the 3D stroke to. You want to just draw out your mask and then you can use the 3D stroke for it. This can be used... Um, for text and there will be a tutorial on that soon so there we go I've got my mask just want to go to the masks mask one yep so we got that now you want to go effect trap code 3d stroke and bam there you have it that is a very ugly version of the 3d stroke um I take the thickness down to around 2 when I'm doing this, 2, and that that's quite nice, take the resolution up to about half so you can see it properly, and I feather it to 100%, so now if you click on the bottom layer so you can't see the mask, you get the 3D stroke and it looks horrible, <laughs> if I'm totally honest. But that's just because I'm rushing. So, um, to get it to slowly progress, what you want to do is get the start, keyframe it, keyframe it, yes, and at the start, put the start at 100. Then uh, I'm going to put mine around one second. Start zero. If you do that properly, um, if I just scrub through, change the resolution to about a quarter, so I can go through nicely. What you can see is that, wow, why did that go so bad? <sighs> yeah, so, if you see now you've got known, and then if you go to, over to a second, you can see you've got it. So, um, what I'm going to do now is go effect... And this is for the 3D stroke track code. This is um, uh, optional. You don't have to do this, but I think it makes it look a lot nicer. Star go. Now if you scrub through, well, which I'm not going to do, you can see that it's all sparkly on the um, 3D stroke. And I think that looks really nice. So uh, what I'm going to do though is change the colour of my star glow. Why have I got two star glows? <sighs> Ugh, my laptop's really laggy because of this Camtasia Studio. There we go. So um, I will just want to go colour map A. Change it to a one colour gradient. Colour. I'm just going to change it to a dark blue. And colour map B, yet again, I want to put it to one colour. And uh, I'm going to make this one darker. So a nice dark, rich shade of blue. And then you can see, if I change the resolution up to full, which I have done. Select the bottom layer so you can see it. You get quite a nice effect. Um, now, uh, if you look, if you change the colour of the... 3D stroke. If you put it to a really dark color, there will be no star glow. 
for some reason there just will not be any star glow because there is nothing for it to glow off of. So um, what you want to do is try and keep your colours light that you're working with. So uh, for me, I'm going to, because I love blue, I'm going to do a light shade of blue. More towards the white than the blue. Let's do this right. Why did it choose purple? Uh, a bit more to the left. Sorry about this being really laggy. Wow, just a second. I'm just going to wait for this to render out, even though it's one frame. There we go. So as you can see now, um, what you get is it slowly comes out with the 3D stroke. And that, then it starts, um, it just has a nice glow to it. Right, this is an another optional effect. Uh, but this is quite expensive to get this, so I go with Video Copilot Twitch. And what I want to do is go enable, and I, the only thing that I want to enable is the light. And why won't it let me enable that? This is really getting on my nerves now. Light. I said click. There we go. So, um, as you'll see in the intro of this video, because this thing will be in the intro, so I can show you the final result. Uh, what you'll see is the 3D stroke flicker, and the star glow will suddenly get brighter. And, um, yeah. So that's just a quick basic tutorial and After Effects on the 3D stroke tool by Trap Code. Um, it's very worth the money if you're going to buy it. So, um, yeah. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And peace out. Make sure to subscribe to Dream Team Editing.